Most entrepreneurs mistakenly believe that a business is all about the idea, that the idea is the most important thing when it comes to succeeding in business. And they're only asking themselves, hey, how can we make more money? Or how can we make money? How can we make some quick money in this endeavor? Can we make some money in this endeavor? That's all most business owners are asking themselves. They think that the product is the business, that the idea is the business. But as Bill Hewlett and David Packard found out in their story, in their success story of building HP, is that a great enterprise is never about an idea or a product, it's about the way. And hence the title of this book, The HP Way. You see, HP succeeded from a one-car garage to a giant multi-billion dollar corporation how did that all happen? Well, this book literally demonstrates the power of building a company based on its core values, its core principles, on based on its way of doing business, which is the HP way of doing business. When Bill Hewlett and David Packard started HP in 1937, they didn't specifically think about any specific products. All they thought was, how can we make valuable and useful contributions for the welfare and betterment of industry, science, and overall society? And in 1964, their total sales were $125 million, and they were only in the instrument business at the time. And in 1994, HP's uh, total sales were $20 billion, and uh, their computer product services and support made up 78% of total company's total business. So as you can see, the products, most of the products that HP started with back in 1937, they're not even in existence today. They're not even in production, not even the categories are in production. But what has survived is the way, the HP way, the way of doing business. And that's the real product that HP created. Their company HP is all about the way of doing business, not about a specific product. So what is the HP way? Let's talk about that. Well, the HP way in some ways is a summation of the personal core values, mission and principles of Bill Hewlett and David Packard. It's the vision they had created. And not only that, it's a way of conveying those values to their employees so that they can live true to that vision. Now there are five core values and principles of HP, and I'm gonna talk about two of them. First is HP exists to make a technical contribution and should only pursue opportunities consistent with this purpose. Think of this compared to what most people start with business today where they only think of how can we make more money. Most people are asking how can we make more money, not asking how can we contribute. And that is one of the most dangerous things, one of the most dangerous places in which you can start a business. Another principle HP lives by is the idea that HP has a responsibility to contribute directly to the well-being of community and society. That's where HP, Bill Hewlett and David Packard, that's how they started the company. How can we contribute? And that's a principle that's encoded in their ethos in many ways. And as you will look at David Packard's life, as you read this book, you realize that he lived true to this mission. He started HP with the idea of what can we contribute, not how can we make more money. And he donated almost all of his $5.6 billion of net worth to charitable foundations. So in the end, he lived true to the vision and the mission and the values that he started with by contributing everything he made. He literally had, when they started the business, they only thought about how can we make valuable and useful technical contributions to uh, mankind, and that's what he ended up doing. He contributed everything he had for the betterment of society. So if you look at this, because Packard was on a mission to make a giant contribution, he ended up amassing giant wealth and giving it all away. Such a giant paradox, but a beautiful paradox nonetheless. So as entrepreneurs, one of the most important lessons we have to understand is that in order to build a great enterprise, you don't have to start with a great product or idea. You need extreme clarity on your core values, your mission and purpose, and you need to define your way of doing business. That is the crucial thing. And that's what uh, Jim Collins talks about in the book, Build to Last, the idea that no products live forever, but the way, the mission, the values, the principles live forever. And that's what makes great businesses survive for decades and centuries. So if you enjoyed this idea and you want to get access to 300 such great ideas on entrepreneurship, well, then you will probably enjoy my entrepreneurship book summary pack where I have summarized 50 of the greatest books on building a great business, books on strategy, on innovation, on systems, on execution, on teams, on scaling your business, on building billion dollar businesses, on lifestyle entrepreneurship, on entrepreneurial mindset, on social entrepreneurship, basically books in every realm possible 
in order to build a great business. Now, because it is launch time, you can get a great discount on this course. Just head on over to 2000books.com slash startup and enter the promo code YouTube before the end of February one Saturday. Enter the promo code YouTube to get a pretty sweet discount on this course.